If you haven't used Excel for a while, I just wanted to go over a couple of bits and pieces just to help you familiarise yourself with a spreadsheet. We talk about columns and they are denoted by letters. We talk about rows, they are numbered. And we talk about cells, these individual references, boxes, whatever you want to call them. If you click in a cell and you go up to this section here that's called the name box, you will see exactly which column you're in and which row you're in. The next thing to think about is what we call the ribbon. The ribbon is this top section, all the information you see on this top, top section. And you'll see that we have various tabs, so home, insert, page layout, formula, and so on. And I'd say it's worth your while just to have a look through each of these tabs just to get your head around to remind yourself of where you will find everything. And within each tab it's broken down into even more sections and you'll see that there's a square with a downward arrow. Clicking onto that will actually open up what's known as a dialog box and then there's even more information that you can find and functions you can do from that point. You can also right click and you get various options that takes you back to these dialog boxes. You also can use shortcuts so for example uh, Control C is copy, Control V is paste, and if that's something you're familiar with, then Excel lets you use the shortcut codes as well. Now, something to think about that might be of help to you, and if you look in the top left hand corner, this is actually known as the quick access toolbar. These icons sit here regardless of what tab you're in, so they can be very, very helpful. Now, if I go to this downward option here, I get a list and I can see at the moment what has been ticked, save, I can see that, the undo and the redo and there's other functions that could be helpful to you in this section. If you're looking for a particular function, so let's just say you do a lot of graphs, charts and you want that to be always sitting there to save you having to find the right tab, what you can do is you can go to more commands and you will see here we're in popular commands in alphabetical order if you click up here actually you'll see not only the popular commands, commands that aren't even in the ribbon anymore, all commands and then you'll see macros and there's also additional tabs that can be added or removed. But let's stick with popular commands and let's just say that we want to be using or we're going to be using charts all the time. So I find my create chart icon, I click on it once, click on add, press OK and now you see up here we have got the insert chart icon. So instead of having to go to where I would go is insert the chart, it's sitting here and it doesn't matter which tab I'm in, the chart is sitting there. If you want to remove it, really easy, click on that little downward arrow again, back to more commands, take off what you don't want, remove and then press OK and that's it gone again. A couple other things to think about is sometimes if you don't see the tabs and all the information here and you wonder what's happened, nothing's happened really, um, up here we've got the what's known as the ribbon display options and if I click on that then you can see the various things. So at the moment what we want is to show tabs and commands. If you see just show tabs you've lost the additional information to get it back same icon, ribbon display options, show tabs and commands and I would say that is the best way to have it sitting with all the information um, to hand. Something else to we'll look at, uh, we can zoom, you'll see down the, now I'm down, down the bottom right hand corner, it's just sitting at 100% here, I can use the plus, I can use the minus to make it bigger, smaller, to zoom in and to zoom out. Right, I'm moving on to the next sheet. And here is just something for fun really, but to show you um, how many rows and columns you actually have in Excel. So there's 1,048,576 rows in one single Excel um, um, sheet and there's 16,384 columns. If you find yourself lost at the very bottom of the spreadsheet, we'll see where at the end here it's gone completely grey, there's nowhere else to go and same along here. But what you could do is you'll see from the screen down here, if you click on the control key and then you press the arrow 
up, it takes you back and then control back to um, column A, I'm doing control and then the left arrow. To get down, control the downward arrow takes me down and control to the right arrow takes me here. So using the control, either up, down, left or right can get you navigating around your spreadsheet. And the other thing that you can actually do is up here in this name box, I'm back up on the, the left hand side here, I could type in just simply A1 and that will take me back to column A and row one. So that's what happens, that's what to do if you get lost in the middle of a spreadsheet somewhere. And just lastly in this section I just wanted to um, talk you through if you are creating a new Excel spreadsheet. So if for example we go to, to File and then we go to, well just about to, to click a blank workbook, just to make you aware that there are various um, templates that you can have that are sort of pre-built templates and there are little tutorials as well that could be of help. So it might be worth your while if you're new to this is just having a little look at what is on offer. The other thing uh, to think about and not to be put off by this is um, down the bottom here options and when you go into options it's essentially there's so much to, to look at, but it's it's really just, it's called the back end. It's just to to look at how things are set. So, for example, I changed um, my workbook so that everything is in this particular font style and this size. But you could go back and change it to whatever you want and whatever size you want. So it might be worth your while just having a little look and, and just going through each of the options there's a sort of pull down and pull it back up again and all the various bits and pieces that it really is, is how your system has been set up. You'll notice here actually this uh, allows you again to customise the ribbon and the quick access toolbar that I showed you earlier. So that really is the basics of Excel of how to get around where everything is and I do hope that that helps.